Um, so MPS 4A and MPS 6, I, I grouped them together because again they can be very similar in presentation. MPS 4A or Morchio A syndrome and MPS 6 which is Marital LeMay syndrome. Uh, these are typically non-neuronopathic. Children do not have developmental issues associated with MPS 4A or MPS 6. Uh, they do have severe systemic disease, including the um, more severe form of dysostosis multiplex, uh, leading to the need for uh, surgeries, multiple uh, musculoskeletal surgeries, uh, to, to correct valgus deformities of their legs for uh, hip dysplasia. Uh, C-spine stability and compression can develop with uh, both of these disorders. There is a difference between the two. You can diagnostically uh, distinguish the two um, uh, based on one particular finding. In MPS4A, they have very lax wrist joints as opposed to MPS6 and even MPS1 and 2 where the accumulation of the GADs leads to stiffening of the joints and uh, claw deformity of the hands and impaired mobility and that's how you can distinguish those two from each other. Uh, so MPS6 has a uh, FDA-approved enzyme called naglazine. It's been out for over 10 years. It's, again, it's administered intravenously every week uh, over four hours. MPS4A, Vimicin, is also an FDA-approved drug. And it was one of the first trials I was a principal investigator for here at NYU and was able to uh, participate in that trial and bring that forward to FDA approval. Uh, that drug is also intravenous and every week.